Let's turn it up. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, let's turn it up. What's up, family? It's your boy, Mr. T.E. So today, we're going to give y'all, you guys a brief look at a property. I went out with Sharice on. She just negotiated a pretty good deal on this property. She's going to stay in for a year, renovate the property, and sell it. She should be done in about two to three months. If it takes four, that's fine. But we have enough time, so she still have enough time. Market's pretty good. The only way I advise that, guys, you got to get your name on the title. You want to make sure that you can pull that trigger and you don't need the homeowner to be right there, you know, to help you pull the trigger, especially if you're investing your money into it. Make sure you get everything in right and close with an attorney, an attorney, and make sure, you know, you cover your butt. If you're going to be putting money into deals, make sure your ass is covered and your name is on that title. All right, guys, check out the deal. Let me know what you think. Hit thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Subscribe to my channel, and let's get to the money, baby. Okay, guys, so we almost at the property. Let's see what we're working with. Any concept to be cold of another that is short of his fulfilled desire. So this is the house, guys. This is, and this is how the neighborhood looks. Nice property. Got a good 30000 40000 in equity. The ladies who's selling the house is going to a senior retirement center. So we're going to take this one over subject to the existing mortgage and see what we can negotiate on as far as a um, how much cash we're going to give it for it to deed the property over. So guys, this is the garage area. We're gonna go inside, take a look at the property. Kind of junky, but if you can look past the junk, you know you can see a you can see a gem in the junk. So you gotta have an eye for this stuff. But mainly, you know, it gotta get you know we gotta take all this stuff out, clean it out, pretty good. Get a dumpster place. I'm mean, sorry, get a dumpster. Load the dumpster up with all this trash. Of course, we're gonna pay somebody to do that. So we gotta get all this trash out of here, whatever the homeowner do not take or don't take. You know, we gotta take, um, get all this stuff out of here. So this the bottom living area. You always wanna check the entire house out, guys. Look, definitely look at the ceiling, see if there's any cracks. Want to check for any foundation issues. It's going to need a little bathroom work for us to tile in the shower go. It's back deck here. It's got to be pressure washed. Some more junk need to be cleaned out. We're going to have to paint the property. I think this is one of my student deals, so She's going to actually renovate this one and put it on the market. So I'm going to actually renovate this one, put it on the market. The seller actually is going to give give her about a year with this deal so we're gonna put it on the contract got a year to get it renovated and sold pretty decent area so that shouldn't be a problem so that's another good way guys you can partner with homeowners partner with some of these homeowner guys you don't have to get it for 70 cent 70 percent minus repairs all the time on Mayo if the seller is motivated to sell See what you can do so, you know, everybody eats. So you can make it a win-win for everybody. Think outside the box on some of these deals. Yes, we partner with homeowners all the time. Partner with realtors, homeowners. Our job is to get the job done and make some cash. My 
cameraman a little fast on the draw. <laughs> Looks pretty good though. I always check the ceilings and the walls. For any cracks that'll let you know about foundation issues. In Georgia, we tend to have a lot of termites, so you want to walk around this house on the outside and look for like trails. You see some trails on the side of your house or at the bottom of the house. Open, you know, get something like a screwdriver or a piece of wood or something and open the trail up to see if it's active. If you see some trails, that means you have um, termites. So that's on the outside. This property here, the floors are pretty good. So right now I'm seeing paint, clean up paint, a little work in the bathrooms. I think we can get away with about 10,000 on this project. Got to put up a couple of light fixtures. Put a little sheetrock mud over that hole in the wall over there. A couple of holes in the wall. New doors. If you're going to turn around and renovate this property, I would upgrade, put all new doors. I want to give it that new look because it's old on the outside, that old structure. Now, up there in the ceiling, she claims it's not a leak. But you know, you gotta get a little more to detail and doing inspections because everybody don't seem to tell the truth all the time. So you wanna verify different repairs and stuff that they say that is not active. You wanna make sure you check for yourself. That's a part of the negotiations also. You got our leaky roof, hey, that's another discount, baby. This one looks okay. This bathroom here looks pretty good. Change out the sink. Maybe we probably could paint the sink. This all depends. We're going for retail here. We're going to make it look really nice. The area doesn't require high-end upgrades, but I would put, you know, most of the things that's visible new as far as your light fixtures, carpet, paint, Florins look de decent, so we can get away with that. Of course, exterior paint. Kitchen has granite tile, so it doesn't look broken. We may keep that. It's kind of played out now, though, granite tile in your kitchen. So we may just snatch it out of there. I got a good granite guy that can do stuff for pretty cheap. So let me know what you guys think, man, if you'll buy this one subject to or not. Well, she, this this lady, she let me let me take that back. She really doesn't want to do a subject to, but she will deed the property over for a year. So Cherise negotiated the deal this property deed the property over for a year, do the renovation and sell it within a year. And she agreed to it. So more than one way to skin a cat, guys. Just gotta have an open mind. An open mind. Very critical. You calm down. This is the floor. I think the deck we was have has a little problems. Nothing major. I am a real estate transaction engineer. Shirts coming soon, guys. It will be on the website. Follow us on all channels, MrTransactionEngineer.com. Hit thumbs up, guys, and stay blessed.